Let's start the demo. I'm going to start the console application name Azure IoT Hub.exe. This application will query the temperature sensor every five seconds and the motion sensor every half a second and send the data to the cloud. From Visual Studio, I'm going to run the Web Console Dashboard application. I'm going to request the data for the last 10 minutes. The Azure IoT Hub API is very slow to initialize. And sometime I have to request the data twice at the beginning. Here's the data and nothing much happened in the last 10 minutes. I'm going to use a blow dryer to get this party started. Seventy degrees Celsius, that's good enough. And we are going to see the temperature going down every five seconds. Let's click Refresh. Here is the data. We went from 25 to 70 degrees Celsius. Let's click Refresh again. I can see the temperature is going back to normal. In this IoT demo, I am sending real data to the cloud. Let's try it again. Sixty nine degrees Celsius, that's good enough. Let's refresh. Here's my second bump. Now, what I really want to show you is the application that gathers data and send it to the cloud. Let's debug it. I'm going to start the application in debug mode. As I mentioned earlier, we have two devices. The first one is the I2C MCP 9808, which is a temperature sensor. We need two wire. The white wire is the clock here and is plugged into GPIO 5. And the green wire here is the data and is plugged into GPIO 6. The second device is a PIR motion sensor which uses the yellow wire to connect to GPIO 0. First, we create a NUSBIO instance. And now I'm going to create an instance of the temperature sensor. Because all samples are open source, we can now see the implementation detail of the class. We initialize the I2C engine in the constructor. The method wait for sensor to be ready will wait for the sensor to be ready. And if it's not there, we'll wait for it. Now we're going to call the method begin and if it returns true, that means we detected the device. The first thing we're going to do is read the register manufacturer ID and expect the right value. The right value should be 054 in exa. And it worked. And now we're going to read the register device ID. And we expect the value to be 400 in exa. We just detected that the temperature sensor is connected.
And now we create the motion sensor instance. I also created a five second timeout because I want to query the temperature sensor every five seconds and a half second timeout to query the motion sensor. As you can see for now, I commented the code that queried the motion sensor. We will see that later. For now, there is no motion detected at all. I'm going to call the method get temperature from the sensor and I want the unit in Celsius. The method should update return true if the difference between the new sample and the old sample increased or decreased by at least 0.8%. Let's see now how we send the data to the cloud. First, we store the temperature and call the inherited method send data to cloud. Here, I'm just serializing the data, which looks like this and then call the method send data to cloud. We're creating a message and then call send event async. The data has been sent to the cloud. Let's now update the code to query for the motion sensor state and restart the app. Let's get into the function. To read the state of the motion sensor, we just need to read the state of the GPIO, which was previously open as input. It is the motion sensor that will send a 1 or a high to NewsBio GPIO if a motion was detected or a 0 or low if no motion was detected. Right now, no motion was detected. Let's try again, but this time I'm going to move my hand in front of the motion sensor. And now I'm going to call the method and we detected a motion. Let's send the data to the cloud. Let's detect another motion and send it to the cloud. Done. Let's go back to my web dashboard. Here it is. I'm going to request data for the last 10 minutes. Here we have the three motion that were detected in the last two minutes. And the last motion was detected at midnight, two minutes and 16 seconds. Interested in controlling external devices from Windows with any .NET languages? Check out newsbio.net.